drinks this stuff? Ah, ah, ugh. Anyway, so, give me a second. Ah, ah, wow, that's some real, can this go bad? Is there a date on here? No, it's uh, next year. Hmm. But anyway, coming up in the Atlantic City mega vlog, right? Now, Bally's down over there. They got this uh, cruise giveaway. Swipe the card this weekend and like they'll send you a cruise certificate. Now, a lot of comments below were like, Danny the Medic, you need to go on the cruise, do a video. And I'm like, I don't really want to go on the cruise. I, it, it feels like prison, you know, except the food is free. Well, I mean, like, that's also prison. But you get the point, right? So, I'll do that. Swipe the card. They say in 10 days or something, they mail you a certificate. I do understand it is not completely free, but I'll look in the details. Maybe there'll be a cruise video coming soon. Okay. Now, going further down the boardwalk, there's the Hard Rock, right? Hard Rock Casino Hotel. Over there, they have a fresh harvest buffet. And on Thursdays, which is tomorrow, Right, they're gonna have the seafood offering. Costs a little more, but they got crab legs, guys. I'm gonna eat plenty of crab legs. We're gonna take a look at that buffet. Now, going down further, Ocean's Casino on the boardwalk, they have a tier match promotion for people who either didn't tier match or inactive players. I believe I fall into the inactive category. Right, I haven't been there for at least two years. And they're gonna offer, as you know, from what I've read, they're offering to tier match to prime or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. And that they give you free night at Resorts World Las Vegas. Now, that is very tempting for me because I have not been inside a room at the Resorts World. I've been all over Vegas, but not the Resorts World because, you know, a lot of money they want for their rooms. So I'm just like, uh, uh, no, I'm gonna stay at the Caesars or the MGM or the stations for free. Well, I'm gonna pay money to Resorts World, but if I can get in for free, I'm gonna do a video of that, right? That is terrific. And of course, if the tier match is successful, they will give you a couple of nights at Oceans for free, as well as admittance to their VIP lounge for two people on the day of the tier match or something like that. So hopefully we'll be able to check out that VIP lounge. We're gonna check out the Caesars VIP lounge because I already have access to that. It is the, where the Cafe Roma used to be. It's not as good as it used to be. They had used to have a nice diamond lounge and now it is a Nobu or something like that, but they moved it upstairs. We're gonna take a look at that. Then going further down, there is the Borgata. Now, Borgata, I recently got the Diamond Elite tier, and I'm gonna see if I can get to match to their Platinum tier, just to see, right? And that's gonna be what's in the Mega Vlog. And of course, there have been already one comment in my community post saying that, hey, you know, they're in Atlantic City, they'll love to join in the video. So we may have a guest. Wow, so much to do here in Atlantic City. It's my first night. Three more nights to go. All right, see you in the next segment. Hey guys, I am now at the M4 lounge inside the Borgata Casino. So, it's a VIP lounge that uh, has a little bit of a miniature buffet in it. Check it out.
All right, so I'm gonna start with this here, chicken noodle soup. It tastes like um, just artificially thickened. Seven. All right, let's go try something else. So here at the M4 lounge, the drinks are included. So I got this here, virgin pina colada. Let's give this a try. It comes with a cherry. Mmm, wonderful cherry, guys. Mmm, that flavor. Paper straw, really. Virgin Pina Colada paper straw, guys. Oh, it's really good. It's a nine. Crap, little chunks in it. And now I have some shrimp cocktail, a hot dog, and a piece of the fried chicken. Let's start with the cocktail shrimp. It's pretty big, guys. I'm telling you, it's huge. Maybe you don't believe me, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Really huge, guys. All right, so, shrimp. It is a shrimp, but it doesn't have that shrimp flavor. So that means it's farm-raised shrimp. But we got cocktail sauce to the rescue. Mm. With the cocktail sauce, eight. Without, 5.5. Wait. It's good and salty. I don't know. I think it has chicken in it. No, I, I prefer an all beef hot dog. So I'm guessing this may be a uh, six. All right, moving on. Fried chicken. Mm. 
I like the crust. It's just a little dry. Stupid paper straw. Ah. So now I have a plate of random food. Onion rings, meatball, a stuffed shell, pasta with seafood, a little piece of mac and cheese, as well as their flat iron steak random hot foods. Let's give that a try. It's interesting guys, they're able to maintain a level of consistency throughout all this different food. It's everything's a 7. 6.5 to a 7. Eh, man. You know what? I think the M4 lounge here, what's really good are their drinks. Which is why people come down here, open bar, you know? I don't think people come here for the food. After all, there are restaurants and buffet upstairs and all that. Okay guys, on my way to the Hot Rock on the Chitney and I was like, you know what, let me just get off at Ocean and walk, the boardwalk because, you know, if you get off the Chitney at Hot Rock, you still got to walk the long, long block. So it's kind of like the same walk to me. So I said, I'm going to drop by the ocean anyway. And while I was there, I went to the player's card office and I showed them my Hot Rock icon card. And they uh, gave me a Prime card. That's pretty high level, guys. The Prime card comes with travel perks, right? One of which is the Resorts World Las Vegas. You get two free nights 
and a hundred dollars food credit which probably doesn't last long in the resorts world Las Vegas and a hundred dollar free play very well, happy guys and they got some kind of cruise offer that I don't know about I'm gonna check that out too all right pretty good guys dare match dare match All right, guys, so I made it to the Hard Rock, and over there at the Wild Card Rewards, I showed them my Ocean Prime card. They upgraded me to the Rock Royalty, upon which, oh my goodness, guys, $250 worth of free play added. That's terrific, guys. Their match, their match. All right, guys, I am now here at the Hard Rock Fresh Harvest Buffet. I like to call it the Hard Rock Buffet. $59.99 seafood night on Thursdays. And the line behind me, guys, I counted the people, 85 people long, guys. That's a pretty long line. Now I'm thinking, long line plus $59.99 for crab legs? I don't know, guys. Let's take a quick look at the crab legs to see if uh, I want to do this. So, the buffet is looking pretty nice. It looks like the usual buffet with the addition of two crab leg stations. Two stations, guys, that's pretty nice. Now, here's the dilemma. While I was inside, you know, prancing about, the line just got twice as long. I'm gonna tell you the truth. There's no way in heck that I'm gonna wait in that line and pay $59.99. But, you know, the gods have like, you know, smiled upon me and over here be a specific line for wild card rock royalty. And of course, I won $59.99 at the video poker downstairs. So, let's get something to eat. Alright guys, fantastic news. It worked out after all. On my way into the Rock Royalty line, but there's a young lady that says, excuse me, do you have the yellow card? I said, why well, I do? She says, will you mind? I'll pay for your meal if you can get me and my husband in with you. Because the line was so long. Right? And I'm like, sure, why not, right? Then when I got to the cashier, I said, do you have a military discount? And she says, yes. It's buy one, get one free. So that's really great. I was able to help them out. They don't have to pay anything additional. And I got in for free, guys. All right, crab legs. Crab legs, guys. Crab legs. Woo, crab legs, guys. I hope this is real butter. You never know these days. It appears to be pretty decent quality.
it's not soggy, it's not waterlogged. It's a good quality crab leg. Mmm. Mmm. Nine crab legs. Delicious. Mm. So good, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back with the oysters. They're looking magnificent. Yes, they are not freshly shot. And yes, most buffets I went to where they have oysters on the half shell, they sucked, right? Horrible. I remember some that one time I actually like got close to it and then I could smell it already. It was so bad. I had to wrap it up in a napkin and hide it in the tree or something. It was really bad, but hard rock never lets me down. All right, so delicious guys, delicious. Got lemon. Wow, one is enough for all the oysters. I didn't need the rest of them. Now I'm gonna put cocktail sauce on them. Oh, so good, guys. Now, there's been some comments below in my other oyster video at the Rin Cells down in Mobile, Alabama. They're like, I don't eat oysters. It's like, why not? Oh, they're all slimy and gross. Well, a lot of things in life are slimy and gross, but we still love it, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put a little horseradish on each one. Oh boy, that's a lot of horseradish. So good, guys, so good. I love it because it's all you can eat. I'm gonna put even more cocktail sauce on it. I'm going nuts here, guys. All right, cheers. Mm, so good. I didn't even get the oyster. It was so good. Mmm. What I like about these type of oysters is that it's very plain. It's like eating seawater. Mm. Mm. So good, guys. I'm gonna try to use this end. Try to loosen it up a little bit. Mmm. Good, good. Now, it's not as good as those places that shuck it for you and it's nice and big and you can still see the heart beating. No. But, you know, it's all you can eat. Last one, guys. Mm. Terrific. All right, we're gonna move on to maybe some fried shrimp. Okay, guys, I am back. And now I have some coconut shrimp, fried calamari, and some of those Chinese noodles that I was curious about. Usually buffet Chinese noodles are not that great, but I'll give it a try, guys. All right. Chinese noodles. Wow, way too salty, guys. I'm saying it's way too salty. Four guys. Food should not be this salty. That is something technically wrong. Woo! 
That's so salty. Bye bye. Fly calamari. It tastes weird. Got that little bit of a old taste to it. All right, five for the calamari, and now the coconut shrimp. They can't mess this up. Seven point five. It's all right. Not extremely flavorful or anything like that. Got that a little bit too greasy of a taste to it, but it's fine. All right, next plate. All right, guys. Now I got some prime rib, some of that mushroom stuff they got next to it, and some more crab legs. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you. I'll tell you the truth guys, the prime rib, the cap is quite flavorful, but the eye portion is a little lean. Oh well. 6.8. Mushrooms, guys. Eight for the mushrooms. Pretty decent mushrooms. Uh, you can't mess up mushrooms. They always got good flavor. Mm. Crab legs are just as good as before. All right, guys. So it appears that on Thursday night seafood night, crab legs is where it's at. Crab legs, guys. All right. So I'm gonna call this the end of the video because I'm just gonna eat more crab legs. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Now, onwards to the Caesar's VIP lounge.
All right, guys, we made it to the Caesars here in Atlantic City, and I am now in the Laurel Lounge, formerly known as the Diamond Lounge. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Hi, Frank, how are you? Good, good. May I please have a virgin pina colada? One. One. Sure. Thank you. Yes, guys, virgin pina colada. Now, people ask me, Danny the Medic, why don't you ever drink, right? And this is what I tell them, sir, I am Danny the medic all right any given moment in time there could be a medical emergency which i would come across and it would be a matter of life and death so i must keep my wits about me right now that's what i say but i'll tell you the truth guys i just can't handle my liquor i'm telling you you know like half a drink and i'm out i'll be laying on the floor taking off my shoes and socks and everything oh thank you oh water you by yourself uh, yes, by myself. Sure. Enjoy. I'll go to get you a virgin. Virgin, thank you. That's right, guys. Taking off my socks and shoes, going, oh my god, it's so hot, it's so hot. Then, you know, it's terrible. I look like a crying baby. All right, so, coming up, virgin pina colada. So, this lounge also offers a small buffet selection. Now, I'm going to tell you. It's not as expansive as the M4 lounge over at the Borgata, but it's something. Check it out, guys. See, it's not so bad, right? Now, the Laurel Lounges here in Atlantic City beats the pants off of the ones that used to be in Las Vegas, which of course now they're just plain gone. All right, so, still waiting for my drink. All right, thank you. You enjoy. All right. Let me know if you like anything else. Thank you. All right, Virgin Pina Colada. Now, usually, over here at the Caesars Diamond Lounge, it comes with some whipped cream and some fruit. But one out of every six or seven times, it'll come like this, which is perfectly fine. All right, so I'm gonna call it a night. And yes, guys, I did gamble so far. And how did I do? I'll be going upstairs and I'll be taking a nice hot shower. All right, see you soon. So this is the door that we come in for, right? The door over here has an RFID lock as well as a privacy little swinging thing so people cannot look inside. That's terrific, guys. And we walk in to the one king bed area. Now I did unpack, so it's gonna look a little different. This one king bed is great. It got uh, like a little setup over here. You know, it's not like, it's just a table and the wall. It's nicely set up because it got like partitions, right? Look at the size of this uh, side table amazing guys huge All right and over here we got usb a and usb c two outlets and a light switch for the night light on the bottom we don't care about the little clock but it does got some usb a's over here very nice and over here we got a little button maybe it's a sum of the servants no guys it's for the light Alright, here's the One King bed of which I took a nap in earlier because that bus ride was a little bit tough, you know? Here is a mirror image of the other side, again with the USB AC, couple of outlets, night light button. To activate this lamp, it is a little switch right here. 
pretty good. And now it's over here is a place where you can hide and scare your friends if you are staying with friends, you know? I'm thinking it's a uh, like children's size. I don't think I can hide in here really well. Son of a Oh my god guys, I'm stuck. Now here we have the air machine, table, chair, my little uh, thing that I use to clamp things on for making YouTube videos, lamp, and I have an ocean view. And coming around, we have here a little desk area upon which I set up my uh, YouTubing stuff. Over here is a little drawer setup. Don't be fooled. This is actually a mini fridge by Magic Chef. Now, YouTube stuff, microphone. Over here is my luggage. And then this is not the thing to put the luggage on. It's actually a seat. No, nope, it's like a little table. All right, a little table which I put the thing. And the TV is actually quite big. We're looking at maybe 60 inches. Not bad guys, coming around, massive amounts of light switches, and over here we got the full link mirror, subscribe guys, and over here is the thing to turn on the air, so let's turn it on, let's we'll set it to 70, 69, I like 69 guys, alright, the closet, now this is the fancy closet, I did a room review the other day with no light in the closet. This has a light in the closet. Look at that. You can see inside. Here we have safe, the thing, uh, plastic bag for you to bring home your dirty laundry, ironing board, iron of which for you to uh, either unzip and use. And what is this? I didn't see this earlier. Ah, forms. What, more forms? Uh, I can't even reach the forms, forget it. And the thing for you to put the luggage on. Now let's take a look at the... Hey, thanks again, Smoles Original BBQ. All right, the bathroom, guys. Here we got a nice circular lit mirror that's looking very fancy. And we got what looks like brass tabletop items that matches the brass hardware of the sink. Very nice. Towels and toilet tissue. A couple of hooks on the door looking very strong and nice. All right. Here we got a toilet paper hanger that is also brass. Uh, ancient Roman art, and you can tell because of the uh, the facial structure. Ancient Rome. I'm just making that up, guys. Small little ventilation, and we got over here toilet. Now over here is a very unique shower, right? Back in the day, it used to be a bathtub, obviously, but now it's a shower that has a seat. What's really good about this, it has two uses. One, if you win downstairs, you can enjoy a nice steamy session by spraying the water from there onto the seat, warming everything up and everything becomes nice and steamy and you sit there and relax. But if you lost your butt downstairs, you're gonna change that water from hot to cold and then you sit there as you cry and you say, why did I do this? Why did I do this yet again? as you sit there and sob in the very cold, cold water. You know what I mean? That's what this is for. Dual uses. Caesar's Atlantic City is prepared for all situations. All right. Now, I guess that is it for the room. All right, guys, so, 
Now, I'm on my way to the Bally's where I'm gonna swipe my card for this here free cruise promotion. So, let's go swipe the card and see what happens. I've never swiped the card for this before. Place is so packed, guys. All right, here we go, guys. That was a long line. So let's swipe the card. They say it's a slow machine. Ah, here we go. Pin number. Right, so let's get the scratch off bonus first. $10 free slot play, guys. Terrific. Come on, come on. Not that I don't have any patience, but there's a lot of people behind me in line. Come on, come on. Ugh. Right, there we go. But the oh, something's printing. All right, so finally some peace and quiet. So you guys can read this if you want. And uh, I'm gonna use that free play. All right, guys, I am now on the sixth floor of the Bally's and I'm heading towards the VIP lounge, guys. It's like literally, it says VIP lounge. All right, now, you know, I'm not a VIP here at Bally's, but I saw a promo online that says that if you show your VIP card that is in the top two levels of wherever you're from in Atlantic City, you can get in for free. So, free, guys. I heard the word free, I'm gonna give it a try. Alright guys, I'm now in the Bally's Atlantic City VIP Lounge. It's looking great, right? Terrific. So, this is the menu. And you order from the menu. Now, things have changed since the uh, back in the days when they had the uh, buffet and video games, pool tables, stuff like that, all gone. So, it's just like tables, food and drink. Good and tasty. Oh, thank you. There you go. Terrific. All right. Chicken noodle soup has arrived. I'm glad to see that the serving bowls have not changed. <laughs> I'm talking to my invisible friend. <laughs> All right, so let's try the chicken noodle soup. Mm. Oh, it's nice and hot. Pretty good. 8.5. Thank you. Ooh, salt and pepper. That's salt and pepper, guys. Thank you. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, so Sandra got the drink She's coming. It? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. It's looking good, guys. Check it out.
Let's try the shrimp. It's nice and flavorful. Eight. Pretty good. Shrimp gumbo. I believe these are okra. Wow, it's quite potent. Mm. It's all right. Seven point five. All right. Now let's move on. All right, guys. It's Friday night now, and it's time for beef chow fun. Over here at KWI Chinese Spot inside Caesars Atlantic City. Oh, thank you. Hot tea free, right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Can I have ice water too? Sure. Thank you. The guy bought over some hot tea. He says, hot tea, hot tea. I, I'd be like, it's free, right? Because, you know, I didn't ask for it. Because then, you know, sometimes, look, it happened before. I went somewhere, it was a Thai place. The guy says, you want tea? I'm like, yeah, sure. In Chinatown, and the tea was $2.50. I'm like, what? Oh, thank you. All right. New Jersey tap water. Paper straw again? Son of a... Now, I normally order my beef chow fun without bean sprouts. But if I do that, it changes the natural flow of things in the kitchen. Because they're used to making a certain way, right? So I try to capture the flow of the kitchen by just not specifying. Now, if I've been to a place before and I know what it is like, then I'll specify, you know, for my normal eating. But to show you in the video, I'm showing you what comes naturally. All right, still waiting for the food, guys. You know, they have really good music here on Friday nights. You know, they didn't have such good music Wednesday night or Thursday night. You know, it makes me think that they must pay per song, right? Because, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, they're like, hey, screw you, here's the public domain stuff. And then Friday night, you know, it gets busy. Then they put the good music. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Okay, thank you. It's free, right? Okay, good, thank you. You know, because I was charged 50 cents for one. All right, so. Let's take a closer look. Guys, I'm gonna have to tell you the truth. This is a little bit small. And trust me guys, when a Chinese guy says this, first, the beef. Seven for the beef. Now for the rest of it. Including the bean sprouts. Seven. 
7.5. Now, everything at once. Like a piece of beef here. Cheers, guys. Eight. It goes well together. Now, some of this hot sauce that got brought out, mixed in. All right, cheers, guys. Still an eight. The hot sauce don't change it. It just makes it taste like it got hot sauce on it. Whereas some other times, hot sauce add more flavor to the whole thing. Today is not that case. All right, so. I guess that's it for the Beef Chow Fun here at KWI. Stay tuned for more exciting stuff. All right, guys. So what I have now is the $100 million water park called Island Water Park at the Showboat Atlantic City. This is going to be a quick look, but I'm going to have a full video about this coming soon because I just cannot fit it all in guys. I cannot fit it all in. It is that huge. Oh guys, it's so good to say that. All right, check it out. All right, guys, I made it to the ocean here in Atlantic City. Now, I hate that name for the place because it's so vague, you know. We go, oh, where are you going? The ocean. It's like, huh, Atlantic Ocean? You know, it's like, it's too generalized. I think they actually gave it a proper name that is unique, like the Avioli or something like that, you know, or, or the Pegasus. You know, calling it the ocean is, okay, and anyway. Today, I got viewer Michael. He's here, he's gonna talk about some stuff one of them is the most fun thing to do in Atlantic City. Then he's going to talk about White House Sub and Doc's Oyster House. All right, here he is. Hey, thanks for having me today, Danny. Great to have you in AC. Checking out all the spots. Uh, like he said, we're in Ocean today. Uh, in the, what's it called, the lounge, a, a dealer lounge? Yeah, it's some kind of name. Yeah, yeah. Great. And uh, I was telling Danny about all the classic places in the AC to go to, which is the White House Subs. He has to try that for a cheesesteak or Italian hoagie. That's a must. And also uh, Doc's Oyster House for some fresh uh, fish. Been around for 100 years. Um, as far as the fun things to do, 
you know, I don't know. I like the beach, the boardwalk, uh, just hanging out and chilling. It was a great weather this summer. Um, yeah, obviously we have all the casinos here, um, whoever you like to gamble. And uh, yeah, just a good time over here. Trying to bring AC back. It's getting a little bit better each summer. And uh, hope for you guys to come and check it out. Danny's gonna give you all the places to go. He's working hard. <laughs> That's about it. And now let's take a look at the VIP Lounge Buffet. All right, guys, I'm back from the buffet. So I have here the soup, some kind of flat iron steak. What is the prime rib? A potato offering that I cannot pronounce. Some kind of mushroom, shrimp cocktail. All right, guys, I'm gonna taste it all and I'll let you know what I think. All right, guys, I sampled the plate. So this is what I think. The soup, terrific. It gets a nine. The flat iron steak is dry and tough. It gets a five, guys. Now, some people may like steak well done, dry and tough. Look at this. Some people like it that way. So that's what, it's not technically wrong. It's a, a choice difference, right? So that gets a five. Prime rib, it looks a lot like uh, dry and tough, but then when you actually bite into it, it's juicy and tender. Very flavorful. That gets an 8, guys. The potato thing is an 8.5. Still don't know what it is, guys. The mushrooms, 7. Your ordinary mushrooms. Shrimp cocktail gets a 7.5. Uh, for the shrimp itself, dip it in the sauce, it goes up to an 8 because it's not the high quality gulf shrimp that, you know, costs a lot of money. This is sizable, but it's still that farm-raised stuff. All right, so that's it from Atlantic City. Have a good one, guys. All right. Bye-bye. Hope you guys come. Check out the prime rib and ask for it medium rare. <laughs> good night.